All right, I've got a new driver here today that I'm gonna be testing out and telling you exactly what I think about it. It's the Kirkland Signature Driver. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So I have in my hands the new Kirkland Signature Driver. Big thanks, big shout out to Gabe at Let's Play Through. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, definitely go do that. I'll put a link down in the description to that. But he sent me one of these drivers. We're gonna be doing some interesting stuff uh, with this driver, but in this video, I just wanted to basically take it for a test drive, see what I think of it, see how it kind of compares to maybe uh, another driver that I would put kind of in the same category price point. Now, the overall look of this driver, very simple, very clean. You can see it's got a little weight screw back here. Honestly, when I look at this driver, when I first picked this driver up, it reminds me of a driver that Callaway put out about 10, 10 11 years ago called the OptiForce, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a picture up here so you can see it if I can find one, but very similar, specifically looking at the sole, very similar looking sole to it when you compare this driver to that Callaway driver from somewhere around 2013, I think. Um, other than that, the shaft in it, we've got this even flow, riptide, uh, 60 gram shaft. This is a stiff flex 6.0 in the 60 gram. Uh, the colors on this Riptide shaft are a little different from the ones I remember seeing. This is definitely a little bit older shaft, and in this paint job, I am not exactly sure what version of it we're getting, but my guess would be it's probably, I mean, the Riptides were really popular or well used more about five years ago, so probably somewhere in that time frame. Uh, it does come with a really nice velvet style lampkin grip. I do really like the grip on this. So uh, overall, again, good looking golf club. Not a ton of adjustability or uh, options when it comes to buying one. You really only have two options. You can either get it in stiff or you can get it in regular. Uh, I think it only comes in right-handed and it only comes in 10 and a half degrees. So really your only option is to either get it in the 6.0 or the 5.5 stiff or regular. Now all that's pretty interesting, but the most interesting or the most exciting part of this driver is that, well, one, it comes from Costco, and two, it has that Costco style pricing on it of $199, let's just call it $200 for this driver. So the question is, what do I get out of this $200 driver? Let's get it on GC Quad, hit some balls, see what kind of numbers I get. Specifically, I'll be interested to see what kind of efficiency I'm getting, uh, both in center contact and more importantly, what kind of efficiency am I getting when I am not quite hitting it in on the center. That was a little low on the face. Looks like pretty good numbers. 252 carry, 105 club head speed, and 151 ball speed for efficiency of 1.44. Spin up at 3,000, but again, it was a little low on the face. Another pretty good one there. That one was definitely more center face. Efficiency 1.45, ball speed 152. Again, the spin's a little high, 3,000, call it 3,100, but carry 254, total 273. Well, that one was a little high toe. Probably won't be quite as good. Let's see. Well, still went out there about the same distance overall. Yeah, efficiency went way down there. That was definitely, that was definitely somewhere more up here and, uh, and left the face a little bit open. 
launch was a little high. Actually, the backspin, surprisingly, didn't creep up at all. So I think that's why the overall numbers were pretty similar. Again, that one ball speed dropped a good amount because it was not nearly as well struck. Uh, the head definitely has a slight closed face to it, maybe just a little bit. It's not, it's not much, uh, but it is there. And then I guess it has this little sight dot on the top of it, but it is very inconspicuous, which I do like. If you're going to put a, a line or something on the crown, I would prefer it to be small. And this is about the smallest, this is about the smallest line or dot you're ever going to see. Honestly, if you're not paying attention, it looks more like a speck of dirt than a, than a sight line or a sight dot. Now when I close the face on a little bit, so we will probably see higher ball speeds on that one. Let's see. Yeah, 152 again, 106, 1.44. Backspin came down a little again. I had the face a little more closed, so a little bit better numbers there, 257 and uh, 277 total. All right, so I've now hit four shots with this. Uh, a couple pretty good ones, a couple not as good ones. Honestly, distance-wise, they all pretty much went the same basic distance. That last one was slightly further, but not by much. Um, it is a good feeling head. It doesn't feel thin or cheap or tinny or anything like that. It has a pretty good solid uh, thumpy feel to it when you hit the ball, even when I hit it either low on the face or out here towards the toe. So it just, it sets up like a big, easy to hit driver, which for a lot of people is a good thing. Last thing I want to try here is comparing this to something that I think would be kind of in the same ballpark uh, as far as price goes, and it, it actually just looks a lot like this club. All right, you've seen me use this driver before and talk about it before, but I've got the Sub 70 849D driver. This driver is uh, pretty comparable as far as price goes. It's slightly more expensive, but not by much. It has a very similar look to it. Uh, all black head, has that carbon fiber crown on it, uh, sort of blending into just that glossy black closer to the face. So it looks very similar. It sets up on the ground very similar to this club. Now I've got the 849D here again, which is the draw biased one, uh, just because, mainly because it's also 10 and a half. So we're doing 10 and a half to 10 and a half. I do think because this one sits slightly uh, draw biased, maybe they sit very close. So I think it'll be a good comparison to see between the Kirkland and the Sub 70. We'll see what kind of numbers I get out of the Sub 70 today. Now with the Sub 70, I've got the Hazardous Black or RDX Smoke Black shaft, which is one of the stock options for this Sub 70 driver. So let's see what we get out of this one. Well, that one was similar to that one I hit off high toe with the Kirkland. Let's see what we got out of that one. Uh, pretty comparable. I think my club head speed on that one was also right at 106. I think the ball speed was maybe 148, so that's why my efficiency, I think, was slightly better on that strike, but I may have also just hit it slightly more in the center of the face. That was low and healy, which really has nothing to do with the driver and everything to do with me. So that one is definitely going to be spinny and a little shorter. Yeah, so 3,300 spin, actually pretty good ball speed, just, uh, just a little low healy spinner. Two seventy-two. I feel like that was a pretty comparable swing to what I was doing with the other one. Uh, 106, 1.45 efficiency, good ball speed. A little bit spinny, again, a little bit low on the face, but overall 272. All right, Kirkland signature driver. A lot of good things, honestly. I like the look of it. 
I like the feel of the ball coming off the face, and I like the ball speed numbers that I was getting. It was right up there with pretty much any other driver. When you make a good swing and hit it in the center of the face, it goes where you would expect it to go. And even on the off-center stuff, it was still pretty good on ball speed. Now look, again, this driver has very few options. It is minimally adjustable. So does this driver allow you to squeeze every last possible yard out of your swing? Well, no, because it doesn't have all of those little adjustments that you can really make to try and dial things in that precisely. But will it still get you 90 plus percent, 95 percent of the way there? Yeah, probably will. Look, if you're looking for something that has more of those options, more of that adjustability, then I would definitely look at something like that Sub-70. Again, it's got more loft options, left-handed, shaft options, grip options, adjustable weights. It's got all those things. You can dial things in a little bit more. But if you're just looking for a simple, easy to hit driver that has really good yards per dollar value to it, which is, I just made that up, but I'm going with it. Yards per dollar, what you get out of it for the amount of money you put into it, this guy's pretty good. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon down below so you will be alerted when I post new videos. Again, I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Gabe at Let's Play Through for sending me this driver. Uh, stay tuned both to his channel and to my channel because we're gonna be doing some more content uh, related to this Kirkland driver. So stay tuned for that. But until then, I'll see you next time.